Like many RVers, we have an issue with our skylight. It is just too bright, especially in the summertime. You can just feel the heat coming through the top of the coach. And we tried a couple different things. For instance, we did try a fake stained glass treatment. Didn't really help that much. So I will fix the problem once and for all. Several years ago, when we owned a boat, we ended up doing our own canvas work. And this all came about because we had to replace the enclosure on the flybridge. We were quoted about $6,000 from a canvas shop to do it. So I figured that's just way too much money, even though I have never done any canvas work before. I found a website online called Sailrite, S-A-I-L-R-I-T-E. They specialize in canvas goods for do-it-yourself boaters. And I ended up buying a sewing machine from them. I ended up making the enclosure for about half of what the canvas shop wanted. Well, I do have some residual tools because I no longer have a boat. I bought some Sumbrella fabric from Sailrite. And if you've never heard of Sumbrella before, it's used for things like bimini tops, fabric enclosures and stuff. It's very good material. You could probably even use this stuff for awnings on your RV, but it's just a little more expensive. And this is actually acrylic, which is a form of plastic. And the one issue with Sumbrella is that it can fray very easily. So when you cut this out, you need to protect the edge. The easiest way is just to burn the edge, which will work, but it doesn't really look all that great. But they also sell this stuff called binding. And this binding is basically some umbrella that's already been made up. And you bend it over and you sew the binding on the edge like that. And this is an adhesive backed aluminum. And this has basically double sided tape on the back side in this reflective aluminum. So what I'm going to do is sandwich the umbrella and aluminum and then put the binding around the periphery. I also purchased some snap fasteners and I found some that had a one inch long thread that looked a little bit like drywall screws. And I'm going to remove the screws that hold the bezel to the ceiling and replace them with the snap fasteners. Also, since the bezel is recessed, I'm going to use some three millimeter high spacers so that the snap fastener itself is not recessed. So the first thing I want to do is create a pattern. So I'm going to use a product called an Easy Pin Positioning System. And the way this works is it is a pin on a snap fastener that goes over the snap. Then you poke the fabric through the pin. Then you put the cap on the pin to hold it captive. That way you can locate all of the holes for the snap fasteners. So the first step is to remove the existing screws from the bezel on the skylight and install the snap fasteners in their place. Next, we install the easy fits into the snap fasteners, then get our template, which is just a piece of poster board, and poke them through the fasteners and put the caps on the fasteners to hold them in place. When we're done with that, we have located all the holes that we need to put snap fasteners in. Next, I used a pen and connected all the holes that I made with the easy fits, and then I added about an inch to the outside of those so that we had room for the binding. This then becomes our template. So then it's just a matter of cutting the umbrella and aluminum panel to size using the template, and then sewing them together along with the binding. And I'm going to put the snap clips in. And to do that, from the days left over from doing the enclosure on the boat, I've got some nice tools. And this is a snap ring installer. It is kind of expensive. And you can buy a snap ring kit with an installation tool that you just use with a hammer for just a couple bucks. So that's probably what you would want to use. And I do have another punch that's going to put a little hole in here because I found that actually works better than trying to create your own hole with the installation kit. And then I just insert the snap. And just like that, we have the first snap in. And now that we have all eight snaps in, we should be just about done with this project. Not quite perfect, but it's not too bad. And all it is is just a little cover anyway. And this is the first canvas project that I've done in about eight years, so I'm a little bit out of practice. Visit rv-project.com.